वेलकम बैक लर्नर्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मोबाइल डिवाइस सिक्योरिटी एंड क्लाउड सिक्योरिटी वी ऑल नो that the number of mobile users worldwide is expected to cross 5 billion by the end of the year 2019 this has parallelly led to the rapid increase of cyber criminals also they make use of the information obtained through mobile phones to earn profit and push the users to become victims of cyber crime they may utilize the apps software operating system sometimes even other facilities to attack mobile devices before manufacturers identify and correct them they are completely capitalized by cyber criminals once again user sensitive data such as the email password personal contacts account details credit card details they are the major targets for the attackers apart from stealing the sensitive data users are also baited to subscribe paid services or download inappropriate links mobile device security therefore is very very important and this can be achieved at various stages at different layers let us see the important components of mobile device security generally there are five components in mobile device security they are endpoint security virtual private network or vpn secure web gateway email security finally cloud access security broker we'll see one after the other endpoint security what is that This actually monitors the processes and files in a mobile device during the network access. Endpoint security can easily identify the threats that are done or created by malware and there is a malware scanning process. Malicious behaviors like malware this can be identified and the system is alerted and or removed instantly before it can cause severe damage to the devices hence remote access networks must be deployed in organizations as they embrace flexible and mobile workforces second one is virtual private network vpn as the name suggests it provides a private network with encrypted internet connection to safeguard the devices from unauthorized access this encrypted connection makes sensitive data transmission safer by remote access it also protects unauthorized people entering into the network and also eaves dropping the packets third one secure web gateway This type of component is based on powerful overarching of cloud security. Has cloud security can operate on domain name systems and various internet protocol layers. Organizations can easily identify the attacks even before they are launched. Organizations face about 70% of attacks such as phishing malware and ransomware only through this hence implementing cloud security from the users perception as well as the organization's perception can prevent these threats from different locations fourth one is email security previous module we discussed elaborately about this email security and major organizations communicate to the users or to the employees only via email so this is very important 
Finally, the Cloud Access Security Broker. We call it as CASB in short form. It's a tool that functions as a gateway between the installed infrastructure and various cloud applications like Dropbox. A data loss prevention, in short, we call it as DLP engine, is used to examine the cloud for unusual activities and preventing them against data breach. As we all know, since mobile devices are extensively used by users, the primary attacks on mobile devices are classified under these four main category. First, OS attack. Second, mobile app attacks. Third, communication network attacks. And fourth, of course, the very famous malware attacks. We'll see one after the other. OS attacks, that is operating system attacks. We previously discussed about the operating system security also in the previous module. So, operating system must be updated for various software updates and patches which is very very important. Second one is mobile app attacks. If mobile applications are not coded and developed properly, then there occurs a compromise on the mobile device security. Next one is a communication network attacks. Most of us have the habit of using the public networks as well as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections wherever we move on if it is offered free. All these lead to insecure security connections. This affects the device as well as the communication happening through the network. Finally comes the malware. Any unwanted behavior that is absurd in creating duplicate files or deleting files in the mobile devices is definitely associated with the malware attack. The top 7 mobile device threats are data leakage, once again unsecured Wi-Fi, network spoofing, phishing attacks, spyware, broken cryptography and improper session handling. So data leakage refers to the process of leaking the confidential data without any specific intention. Actually this takes place mainly in mobile through mobile apps which may be mostly free apps that post as officially advertised in the application market. These apps are the reasons for leaking the personal as well as your organization's data that may be mined by cyber criminals. For instance, users being unaware of the permission at the time of downloading an application can launch or face risky problems related to their personal data. These apps are generally referred to as Riskware. Hence, user must completely read the app permission before agreeing to it. Mostly we click I agree, I agree without even reading all those permission requests. If there is any unrelated permission to data access, it should be definitely be denied. Second one, unsecured Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi networks are considered to be unsecure as most of the people prefer to use the free hotspots available wherever they travel. Communications that take place over the public Wi-Fi such as voice over IP, accessing social media, carrying out transactions such as PayPal can easily be tracked by the attackers to steal individuals' confidential data. So one has to be very careful in using the public Wi-Fi for very critical or secure applications. Third one is network spoofing. Network spoofing refers to the process of creating network packets with false access points to impersonate a computer system in a public network such as Wi-Fi or hotspots. This attack takes place to hack the individual's data 
who carry out confidential data access once again through the public network available in airports, coffee shops, etc. By giving a general trusted network name, hackers create a false access point that makes the users to connect uh, to them thinking or uh, uh, posing as if it is a trusted network. This might also include entering of email details that encourages the hackers to cause phishing attacks by compromising the personal as well as the corporate details. Next, the fourth one is phishing attacks. It is a type of social engineering attack that takes place through emails. An attacker sends a fake email that forces the users to click on some links that result in downloading unwanted files and applications. Sometimes we keep on getting alerts from such unwanted emails. These apps intrude into the user's mobile devices to steal personal information definitely. This type of attacks is the most common attack in mobile devices than in desktops because mobile users receive email continuously and we have the habit of checking for the updates and alerts, email alerts and we do it at a very regular basis. And they are very difficult to examine and it is advisable to always enter URLs manually to be as safe as possible rather than the prompted URLs. Avoidance of clicking on uh, unessential links in mobile devices can be helpful in preventing such attacks. Next, spyware. Apart from malwares, there are certain attacks installed by attackers to spy user systems. It can be used to spy the activities of an organization or an individual employed in an organization and most of the time they are installed by employees or co-workers. The next one is broken cryptography. Broken cryptography refers to the type of attack that occurs due to the improper implementation of cryptographic algorithms by the developers. They include weak encryption and improper implementation of strong encryption. Usage of weak algorithms encourages any motivated attacker to crack the passwords and gain access to the systems. Next is improper session handling. Most of the systems handle session generated applications for transactions mostly for security purposes. This session can be handled with the help of a token that is a unique pattern used by the user to define their identity while dealing with the application of the sessions. These tokens are valid only for a particular session and they are to be destroyed once the session is completed. But most of the time if this is overlooked, the attack takes place and these tokens are unknowingly sent to unauthorized users or actors impersonating the legitimate users. As the mobile users increase over the years, sometimes there is an increase in the number of attackers who try to compromise the confidential information with or without one's knowledge. So this ultimately results in personal risks and some of the personal risks can be defined as follows. They are the physical security, multiple user logging, secure data storage, mobile browsing, application isolation, system updates, mobile device coding issues, Bluetooth attacks, once again the malware is on the rise, finally the serious threats in new features exploited by the mobile devices.
to ensure that the mobile device is not hampered with corrupted, hacked or sometimes even manipulated in some way, the user should know some of the tips and tricks. Following are the some of the steps to be considered in securing a mobile device. It's a seven point mechanism. All of us are expected to follow that to safeguard the device as well as the transactions, the information happening through the device. First of all, locking the phone screen. Second one, setting up passwords and user privileges. Third one, using secured networks. Fourth one, installing antivirus software. Fifth one, downloading apps only from trusted sources. Sixth one, keeping the apps and the device software up to date. Seventh one, safe disposal of the old or unused mobile devices. So, so far we discussed about the important threats, the vulnerabilities and the risks faced by all of us in handling the mobile devices and the safe mechanism strategies that can be followed to safeguard us from unwanted threats and risks. Now let's see about the cloud security.